in a saga that has gripped the nation and ignited whispers within palace walls. Prince Andrew, the Duke of York, unveils a brazen masterstroke to cling to his opulent abode at the Royal Lodge. This audacious maneuver follows King Charles' ruthless decision to slash Andrew's £1 million allowance and dismantle his once formidable security team. Signaling a seismic shift in royal dynamics that threatens to upend the very foundations of Buckingham Palace's legacy. The majestic Windsor estate, a 30-bed mansion steep in history and grandeur, has long been a symbol of the royal family's enduring power. However, recent tensions have cast a shadow over its pristine walls. As King Charles, now 75, intensifies his effort to curtail Prince Andrew's extravagant lifestyle, the disgraced Duke remains unbowed, forging a path that defies royal expectations and ignites fierce debate across the Commonwealth. According to the incendiary revelations and Robert Hardman's latest expose, Charles III, new king, new court, Prince Andrew, has orchestrated a cunning financial renaissance to safeguard his residence. This strategic pivot includes addressing a persistent mold infestation, a stipulation a 75-year lease signed in 2003, mandating the estate's immaculate preservation. A shadowy insider privy to the inner machinations of the royal household divulged to Hardman. He claims to have found other sources of income linked to his international trade connections that would cover all of his expenses, which would be a welcome outcome for all parties if it happened. But whether this funding can be trusted in the long term in another matter. This clandestine financial maneuvering not only underscores Andrew's resilience, but also his relentless determination to maintain his regal foothold against mounting pressures. The Royal Lodge issue has sparked controversy. Prince Andrew, who once had a prominent role within the royal family, now finds himself embroiled in scandal and public scrutiny. Yet, he is determined to hold onto Royal Lodge, which was initially intended to eventually be inherited by his daughters, Princess Eugenie and Princess Beatrice. Experts suggest that Prince Andrew's refusal to relinquish Royal Lodge stems from a profound sense of loss and identity. One of the problems Prince Andrew has is that he is sometimes self-righteous, and he gets himself into trouble because of his stubbornness. And sometimes, his arrogance causes these problems. Remark Rupert Bell, a renowned royal analyst on Times Radio. He feels like he's lost everything, and if he loses his home, he probably feels like he's lost even more. This psychological entanglement with his resident reveals a deeply personal struggle. As Andrew grapples with the erosion of his royal standing, the Windsor estate, once a sanctuary of privilege, has become a fortress of defiance, reflecting his unwavering commitment to retain a semblance of normalcy amid scandal and scrutiny. King Charles' attempt to persuade his brother to vacate Royal Lodge, including cutting Andrew's funding and security, have only intensified the tension between them. It seems Charles is determined to push his brother out of the family estate. As the royal household faces growing financial pressures and concerns about public perception, it's an interesting relationship between the two of them, but the king is trying to put pressure on him. But if Andrew says, I can afford to live here, then there's not much king can do about it. Bell continued. The Royal Lodge feud has erupted into a full blown controversy, polarizing public opinion and igniting fierce debates about matriarchy and accountability within the monarchy. Critics argue that Prince Andrew, tainted by his past indiscretions, has no right to royal privileges. While defenders decry King Charles' stringent measures as an overreach, fostering an environment of familial discord and public spectacle. The situation is being watched closely, especially as Prince William, the future king, is likely to inherit the throne in the coming years. Some experts suggest the dispute could carry on indefinitely, particularly if Andrew continues to find ways to fund his stay at Royal Lodge. It remains unclear whether Charles will attempt further measures to force Andrew to leave or if Andrew will successfully defy the king's orders.